Hey, what up? Welcome back to another quick Flutter tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to implement the Apple sign in for your app's authentication. This is following on from the Google sign in tutorial, so make sure to check that one out as well. I'll link it below. I've opened up a brand new Flutter project, and you should just get this demo counter app. Now, the first thing I want you to do is open up Xcode and go to your project in the iOS folder and open this runner.xcode project file and the first thing I want you to make sure is the bundle identifier so you can see it says com.example.app so this bundle ID is important for you to keep track of especially when you want to publish the app to the app store so you can just use this example ID but usually what happens is it's just the reverse of your domain name like your URL so my website for me is app.mitchcoco.com and then the app's name, I'm gonna call it Apple Auth Tutorial. So whatever you put in this bundle identifier, just keep note of that one. And then let's go to our Firebase console and create a new project. And we're going to need to get started by adding Firebase to your app, which we'll do in just a second. So let's firstly go to the authentication. Click get started. And let's enable the Apple sign in. Sweet, and come back to our code and open up your terminal. And if you haven't done this before, then you're going to need to type npm install dash g firebase tools now i've already done that so make sure to go ahead and install the firebase tools if you haven't and what that enables us to do is to type commands like firebase login and so make sure you're logged in with the same email in the firebase console and then we can say flutter pub global activate flutter fire cli and that allows us to type flutter fire configure and this should show us all of our projects in our Firebase console. So you can see the Apple Auth tutorial. And for this, I'm going to just focus on iOS. And awesome, so that's successfully done. If you look at your folder, you can see there's a new Firebase file there. So in the terminal, now let's type in flutter pub add Firebase core. And hopefully the red squiggle goes away. And now let's just write a little bit of code to complete the setup. So firstly, the main function needs to be an async. And let's type widgets flutter binding ensure initialized. And let's await Firebase. And then we can initialize the app. And for the options, go to the default Firebase options current platform. Perfect. And so at this point, I want you to just kill your app, especially when we bring in new packages. It's a good idea to just rebuild the app. And if it successfully rebuilds, then that means you have connected your app to Firebase. And so if we come back to the console and you just refresh the home page, you can see there's our app that's connected. Sweet. Now we can go to our Apple developer and go to the identifiers and we're going to register a new app ID. So in the description, you can just type whatever you want. And what's important is this bundle ID that I mentioned before. So for me, it's app.mishkoko.appleauth tutorial. So make sure to type what you had. And then scroll down and find the capability to sign in with Apple. There it is. Let's click continue. And register. Sweet, now that that's done, let's come back here to our Xcode. And if you go to the runner and sign in capabilities, if you add a new capability, go to sign in with Apple. And everything is good here. Awesome, so that's pretty much the setting up done. Now we just need to code up the app. So what I want you to do is I'm going to create a new folder called service and let's create our auth service dot dot. So I'm going to open up my terminal and add in the package flutter pub add firebase auth. 
And so now let's fill out this class. So I'm gonna keep it real simple and basic and start off with a stream to listen to the authentication state changes. So whether we're logged in or not. And then the most important thing here is the Apple login method. So we're gonna put that in a try catch. And let's open up the terminal and add in this last package. So flutter pub add sign in with Apple. And so this should allow us to say sign in with Apple. You can see there it is. Get Apple ID credential and we can specify the scopes. So let's say email and the full name. So that's our Apple credential. And let's create an OAuth credential. And we're going to provide apple.com. So OAuth is just the various different authentications you can have like Google, Apple, Facebook, etc. So for us, we're looking at Apple and just give it the ID token and access token. And we're going to just return that and handle any errors. Awesome, and let's just create a simple logout method. And actually at the top here, let's also have a getter to get the user email. It should be helpful. Awesome, so that's our authentication class. Now let's code up the presentation, so the UI part of the app. I'm going to create a page called login page. And let's start by getting the auth service. And in the body of my scaffold, you can see there's a sign in with Apple button. And so on pressed, just go to the auth service and you can access all of those methods we created earlier. So sign in with Apple is what I want to happen now. And so that's pretty much our login page. Let's quickly create a home page so that we can go to it once we're logged in. And so similarly, we're going to get the auth service. And let's also grab the user email. so that we can display it in the middle with a nice welcome message. Cool, and also in the app bar, in the actions, let's have a quick logout button as well. Looking good, so now if you come back to the main.dart file, we have this counter app, so I'm just gonna delete everything below the main function. And we're going to create my app and return the material app. And what's important in the home here is we're going to use a stream builder. And so, well, let's first get the auth service. This stream builder will listen to this stream. So the auth state changes and it'll check if we're logged in or not. And then it will build we're going to build when it's either loaded or loading. So if it's loaded, that means the connection state is active. We can grab the user. And we have two situations. So if it's unauthenticated, then just show the login page. If we are authenticated, then we're going to show the home page. And then at the bottom here, when it's loading, just return a circular progress indicator. And if I just save this, you can see there's our sign in button. 
I feel like we could use some padding around it actually. That's looking pretty good. And if I click on it, you can see it's sign in with your Apple ID. And so this is our simulator and it looks like it's working fine there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test this on my actual physical device. So I'm going to plug in my phone, which is an iPhone 13. And let's test this out. So if I click sign in, yeah, you can see the Apple options there. And then we can sign in. It's going to check my face ID and we are now signed in and displaying that user email. And of course, on the top right, you can click the logout button. Beautiful. And that's how easy it is to implement the Apple sign in. If you made it to the end of the tutorial, just comment a purple heart so I know. Have a good day.